Nchenga wapa bichi hapo. Bichi ya ikulu hicha. Nchenga uja. Tika maguza miendo jimu umalila. Kwichi, 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 kwichi. Nde wantu ama ucha nchenga mkwichi. Chifukocha kwichi, kwichi, kwichi. Nde ndade, ada tenga loji, ada ikaya hapa. Upata nidwa panchenga mkwichi. Chifuko panchenga uja umalila mkwichi. Kwichi, 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 kwichi poenda. Kwichi loji is situated in the uh, northern part of Mozambique and uh, it's uh, in uh, Nyasa province and uh, it's like uh, Lago district. There's no roads passing through. Everybody around here goes by foot or by boat. Some of the unique things of the lodge are the fact that it is very isolated, so it's a great getaway for honeymooners. And what has been preserved because of this disconnection with the outside world is this Robinson Crusoe paradise. It's probably one of the most remote corners of Africa you can find. Some guests get here and they go, are you sure this is the lake? Are you sure it's not the sea? And you go, no, it's a, it's a lake. And they start asking all these questions. Is, the, is, the, is it fresh water? Go, yeah, in fact, the water you're drinking comes straight from the lake. The pollution levels are really low here, which means the clarity of the water is unparalleled. You can see 20, 30 meters visibility. You've got between 600 and 1,000 species of fish here. That's more than America and Europe combined. The species of fish that are in the lake, particularly the cichlids, are the beautiful and um, small aquarium fish. Very bright yellows and blues, and some of them have yet to be discovered. It's like going into another world, a prehistoric world. We've got this backdrop of bush, which goes on for hundreds of kilometers to the ocean. You can hike up to these viewpoints where you can see for miles over to Malawi, you can see everything crystal clear. You can follow the tracks of the leopards, and it's a mysterious place because you can follow the tracks, but you might not see the animal, ever. Whether you want to lie back on a chair or a hammock all day long and read your books, it's fine. If you want to hike all day long, or you want to go for a run, or you want to canoe, you want to have an adrenaline rush, we can do that too. Most of our fruits and vegetables from our local villages, so they're grown organically and fresh. And then the rest comes from the Mandra Wilderness Agricultural Project. So the food you eat here is fresh, 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 fresh. It's so great walking around and seeing a spot that you think, oh, this might be wonderful for a picnic, and being able to have a picnic there. You can eat wherever you want, and you can eat whenever you want. In Quichi, there's no time, there's no schedule. They're unique, our chalets. They're all individually designed. They're using local materials built into the rocks, into the surrounds to really give you a feeling of the nature. You walk down your path and then you reach your doorway, open the door and you find your own little sanctuary, your retreat away from the rest of the world even. It's beautiful to be able to take a bath by candlelight under the light of the moon. You can stargaze while you're taking a bath. They make guests feel a part of the place. It is an ecotourism lodge. Not only is there natural beauty, great service, comfort, and luxury, there is also great work with the communities and conversation.
conservation. So it's responsible tourism in many different ways. Basically ownership is in the hands of the community. They decide how we move forward. Ultimately, it's, it's about the authenticity. It's about visiting a real place. It's about making you connect to something. And hopefully the idea is you take that home and you consider it, you think about it, and you let it affect how you then deal with people in your, your, own, your own life in a different way.